Continuing coverage tonight, last week we brought you the story of a Pennsylvania woman who was on a mission to find the family of a World War II veteran. She had purchased a box that she thought was full of comic books, but it turned out buried underneath were letters from a soldier to his wife. Tonight, we are excited to say that those letters are now in the hands of the rightful owner who was in dire need of some good news. CBS 7's Deanne Lopez has this emotional story. 45 years ago, Ralph Finnegan and his wife Nancy moved 1,700 miles from Pennsylvania to Odessa in hopes of providing a better life for their family. Uh, her mother and her, her sister didn't like me moving down here, but there was no future up there. As a driller in the oil fields, Ralph was able to save enough money to buy his family their very first home on the west side of town. But in 2009, right before Christmas, their home went up in flames and the family lost everything inside. All the pictures we had, uh, we had her mother and dad's picture, Peggy's pictures, our family pictures, uh, all burned up when our house caught fire. Just as Ralph and his wife were settling into their second home less than a year later, more tragedy. Nancy became sick and passed away on Halloween of 2010. I just could never think of finding anybody that would be, that could ever match up to my wife. With the seventh year anniversary of Nancy's death just a few short weeks away, Ralph received an uplifting surprise Wednesday, a breath of fresh air that couldn't have come soon enough. Oh my. Having no idea they existed, Ralph laid eyes for the first time on four perfectly preserved letters written to Nancy's father, Sergeant Germanus Weidler, a World War II Army vet. Yes, this starts out too, to our darling, Oh, this was to our darling daddy. This is from Helen, which was his wife. Jessica Monferdini, a complete stranger, bought a box of comic books in an auction in Pennsylvania two weeks ago. Unaware, buried below, lay these beautifully handwritten letters. It took a team, but these letters are now where they belong. Well, thank you very much, and I'm going to send you a thank you letter for bringing these treasures to me. They mean so much to me. In Odessa, Deanne Lopez, CBS 7 News.